Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is your forecast for the week ahead, November 23rd through the 29th, 2020. Watch this reading if you are a Sag, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Sag on the house cusp. If you have your Sun in the ninth house or Venus in Sagittarius, you can watch this reading. For your reading today, I'm using the Tarot de la Nuit. I'll also be clarifying with the after tarot if needed. Um, we're looking at six cards for your week ahead, Sagittarius. Show me six cards for Sag's week ahead, November 23rd to the 29th. Show me how does Sag see themselves today. What is the theme for them over the next week? What is something Sag has learned in their past that would be useful for them to remember this week? A challenge they may be facing, a lesson they are learning now, and a gift they will receive. All Sages that may be watching, show me the six cards for Sages week ahead. Six cards for Sagittarius week ahead, please. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Empress in reverse, Venus. So you could be dealing with a mother figure here or the Venus archetype, Taurus or Libra. Someone here may be sick or not doing well. Also, someone here may feel depressed or unloved. Some of you are dealing with a water sign that doesn't know what they want. They're very in and out. Um, they say they love you one minute. Uh, this could be a very moody person. This could also be someone who's rather mean. Okay, I'm getting smothering. I'm hearing smothering, burnout, depression. I don't know, you may be dealing with someone that has a whole bunch of issues here. Uh, they may start from, they may actually be health issues. Because the universe in reverse to me it can be someone that is very ill or dealing with an illness. All right, so, Saj, how you see yourself today? We have the High Priestess. Cancer had the same card, so you could have cancer in your chart or be dealing with a cancer, Cancerian. You see yourself as um, just knowing something, okay? You're very intuitive. You're very in tune with your higher self. And in other words, your higher self is speaking to you right now. So that's good. Continue to listen to your higher self. Continue to listen to your intuition. I also feel like you found out something or you just know something. Some of you are tarot readers, psychics, uh, clairvoyants, clairsentience, psychic mediums. Um, you are uh, possibly also studying occult uh, secrets. She has the book of knowledge here, book of wisdom. So you do, you do have a secret here. You know something, something is up. <laughs> All right. So your your theme for the next week, Sag, is the emperor. Okay. So you could be dealing with the divine masculine here. I'm getting Aries, Taurus, Leo. So um, I'm getting a Sag, you've been checked out by someone or you're checking someone out here. 
the full moon here, I'm definitely getting divine masculine. This is someone who's very extroverted, very outgoing, very masculine. I'm seeing a emperor type figure checking out a high priestess. So either this is you or this is someone you're dealing with. Uh, also, the emperor is the king of all kings, very powerful. Um, this is, I like that he came up in the upright position. So this week you could be dealing with the divine masculine, a father figure, or someone who is, uh, well, what can I say? He is very hot. We are going into your season, so this could be you. Something Saj has learned in the past that will be useful for them to remember this week. We have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So you are craving more freedom. Also, you um, may have been dealing with an ex here, ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse is someone that's either craving more freedom or is feeling codependent. You learned something about this energy here. Um, whether this was you who was codependent emotionally or financially on someone else or someone who was codependent on you emotionally or financially. You did learn a lesson around this energy in your past. The challenge this week is the page of wands. So you could be dealing with a younger fire signer. This is you. Okay, someone here acts like a toddler when they get upset. Page of wands in the challenge position is the page of wands in reverse. Also, you may experience some delays in terms of communication. If you are dealing with a younger fire sign, or if this is you, like I said, this is someone who is afraid of a new beginning, uh, they're afraid of change, or they have, fear of the, they have a fear of the unknown. We want to get at the upright energy here of the Page of Wands. Figure out what you're afraid of. What is it that you... I don't feel like this is your energy. Um, <clears throat> is this the same person? Okay, I'm getting yes, it is the same person. Okay, so what I'm getting from this uh, Sagittarius is this week here, stop being afraid of the future of the unknown. Uh, you're either taking things too seriously or you're getting frustrated very easily. So maintain composure, okay, maintain composure. Um, that's one of the messages that I'm getting for you this week. Lesson Sag is learning now. Eight of Wands in reverse. That's one of your cards. Okay, things may not be happening the way you would like them to. Also, I understand you may not want to wait for the surprise, but it's important that you do. This is also energy that is uh, frenetic. It's not uh, well thought of, well thought through or controlled. This could also be, I'm getting blocked communication, no communication, issues communicating, issues with travel, short, short distance travel, could be long distance travel. Delays, delays, delays. There's a reason why there's a delay here and why there's frustration. But I'm getting that you have to be learn how to be more patient and you have to learn how to wait for the surprise. Um, And uh, you can't act out every time you don't get your way, okay? If this is you or if this is someone you're dealing with, they may be tired of your antics. I feel that you have the ability here to use your intuition. If the theme this week is the emperor, they're... The universe is wanting you to maintain good boundaries, um, stay in control. Um, don't be controlling, but maintain control. Um, you need to put your head over your heart right now. 
make logical decisions for yourself and for those closest to you. Um, if you are a masculine watching, they want you to step into your power. If you are a feminine watching, I'm seeing the need to combine the power of the high priestess with the emperor. So you, you are going to be needing to be a more intuitive masculine. All right. Uh, a masculine that listens to his higher self, a feminine that listens to her higher self. If you're a feminine watching, you need to combine more of the divine masculine into your um, more yang into your energy. So you need to embody, say you never had a father figure. Or your father was, has always been kind of weak, has had weak boundaries with you, has been kind of a weak figure in your life. You need to start to incorporate the divine masculine, uh, embody the father in, with archetype within yourself. That's what they're asking you to do because your defined feminine here is here, but she's in the reverse. So that means that she's had to, the divine feminine in your, in your life is, is, uh, has been putting up with some bullshit or is not doing well. And so you're going to have to step up this week. The gift you will receive is the three of pentacles working together here, finding a compromise, building on your values, um, employment looks good. Make something beautiful. This is also support from other people. And also you are being supportive of other people. So you work well with others. You know how to work in a team. Any team situation, any employment situation here is going to, is going to go well for you. So congratulations on that. Maintain your composure, maintain your discipline, put your uh, logic and reason over your heart this week. Um, expect delays when it comes to communication, expect things not to go your way all the time, if at all. And also here, uh, be comfortable waiting for the surprise. Don't try and rush it. Um, stay cool, calm and collected here. Okay, that's what I have for you this week, Sagittarius. Thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to book a personal private tarot reading with me, my information is below in the description. See you guys next week.